Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1906. And in this video, we need to do something simple. Split data based on a delimiter into different columns. In 1904, we used the text split function. 1905, text to columns feature. And the next two videos, 7 and 8, we'll see how to do it with a dynamic spilled array formula. But in this video, we want to see how to do it with Power Query. Now in 1904, we saw the text split function, which is perfect when you need your solution to update instantly when source data changes. Text to columns, that's when you have a one-time event. It's just fast and easy. But Power Query, the perfect time to use that is when you're importing the data in the first place. Now we have a .csv file with the same data that we used earlier. Now if you have the data in a column like this, and it's in the worksheet, you'd have to convert it to an Excel table first, then import it into Power Query, and then split. But in this case, we have a file .csv, that means comma separated values. And you can see the comma that separates the bits of data if you right click, open with, I'm going to choose other app, Word, just once. And if we turn non-printing characters on, we can see there's the comma. Whoa, wait a second, there's a double quote, double quote. So actually, there's only two bits of data, two columns. There's the name of the group. And all of that, even though there's a comma on the inside, it's in double quotes, so it'll be just treated as text. But there's the comma to separate each bit of data. There's the comma to separate the field names. Let's close. And on sheet 4 to 8, we'll scroll down. I'll select B31, Data. Here's Getting Transformed, Queries and Connections. That's all Power Query. We're going to click From Text CSV. Navigate to where the file is, double click. We want to make sure that the delimiter is correct. It's a comma. And sure enough, we have a preview, column one, column two. We want to click Transform Data. Don't click Load, Transform Data. We want to give ourselves a chance to look in the Power Query editor and make the correct transformations. Now, let's rename this. All right, I named it Group Number Data Split. I don't need in applied steps, I don't need change type, so I'm going to X that out. All we have is source. We definitely want the first row as headers. So in the upper left corner, click first row as headers. Or of course, there's a button up in the ribbon. I'll click first row as headers. Now we've added a step. I'm going to X this out. I should have that default setting turned off. Then we select customer IDs. There, split up in home, transform, right click, split also works. I see by delimiter, that's what we have. Click. The delimiter is not a comma, custom. And in the text box, comma, space, and click OK. And look at that, it even gives us good column names. All right, now we can load, go up to home, close, close, and load, close, and load too. Luckily, I pre-selected B31, so table existing. Click OK. And there's our Power Query output. Now, the benefit of Power Query, as opposed to text to columns in our last video, guess what? If I made a mistake, I can come over in Queries and Connections. This pane allows you to open the query. If that's not open, data, you click that button, double click. And there's the Power Query Editor. For example, notice this is when I click on the data type, it's whole number. But these are never going to be used as numbers. So I'm going to scroll over, hold Shift, click on the last column. And I'm going to change the data type. Right click, Change Data Type. I want text. It's polite. It says, hey, do you want to replace the current? That's that step right there. Replace current. And now everything is text. And guess what? When I load, this time I don't have to do close and load too because it's already loaded. I just click the button and it reloads. 
And bam, just like that, I've edited the query that Power Query politely saved for me. And now all the numbers are not numbers, they are text. All right, so we saw Power Query when we're importing data. We saw text to columns when, hey, it's just a one-time event. And of course, text split which allows instant update when source data changes. Oh, and of course, Power Query can do that too, but you'd have to, if the source data changes, right click, refresh. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.